DJI's Mini 3 Pro came out in May 2022, but because the world of tech moves so quickly, you may be wondering, is this still the right drone to get in 2023? Well, as a drone flying enthusiast pilot myself, I have to say that the DJI Mini 3 Pro is still my go-to drone for many of my flights. And so today I'm going to be explaining why I think the DJI Mini 3 Pro remains the number one contender for the best all-round consumer drone. This is not a sponsored video. I have not been in contact with DJI or any third party. I purchased this drone with my own money last year and have just been enjoying it ever since. And first off, of course, the number one feature for the Mini 3 Pro, it's kind of in the name, is its small form factor. This is just going to be a great drone if you don't want to draw too much attention to yourself when flying. But also, and perhaps more importantly, at 250 grams with the battery and SD card installed, you are going to be able to fly the Mini 3 Pro with the fewest regulations in most places around the world. Yes, the more expensive drones are gonna have a number of additional features that the Mini 3 Pro doesn't. However, because they will be over 250 grams, you are going to be far more limited in how you can legally fly them. And so just because of that flexibility, you are going to be able to get additional shots with the Mini 3 Pro because of its smaller size. And folks, if you are finding this video helpful, please do remember to tap the thumbs up button and subscribe for future content. So I initially purchased my Mini 3 Pro as a replacement for my Mini 2, which in and of itself was a fantastic drone. But the Mini 3 Pro just happened to have a number of additional features that really tickled my fancy. And one particular advantage that the Mini 3 Pro has over its predecessors is the fact it now has obstacle avoidance. Now this is not full 360 obstacle avoidance. So this will detect obstacles in front of and behind the Mini 3 Pro, although it won't detect obstacles from side to side. So you still need to pay a little bit of attention. Unfortunately, my time with this drone does include one crash where I just wasn't paying attention, hit a branch, the drone fell and went for a swim in my pond. I did have the DJI Care refresh package, so I was able to get this swapped, had a brand new Mini 3 Pro, which is this one, all within about a week. Again, this isn't a sponsored video, but I didn't have any issues getting this exchanged through that service, so I have to be honest about that. And another major improvement with the Mini 3 Pro is the camera. Now the image sensor here, it isn't the largest image sensor ever bundled with a camera. It's not gonna be the greatest in low light conditions. And if that is your primary intention in choosing a drone to purchase, then you are going to want to spend quite a bit more than the price tag of the Mini 3 Pro. However, for standard daytime flying, the footage you are going to be able to capture here is absolutely magnificent. The camera is capable of recording at up to 4K 60 frames per second, so you can slow that footage down to capture beautiful cinematic shots. And there are a number of features in the app that allow you to take the camera further, such as being able to capture wonderful hyperlapse videos. Actually, I know some people consider that a little bit of a gimmick, but the hyperlapse is one of my favorite features with the Mini 3 Pro. So the footage you can capture here is really stunning, but DJI have also designed the hardware so that you can easily remove the lens cover and attach your own ND filter. On the Mini 2, that was a bit of a fiddly process. You had to use special hooks. Here, it's just a simple twisting mechanism to take the lens filter off and to attach the ND filter in its place. And it's those little conveniences that I think really do go a long way with the Mini 3 Pro. And of course, one of the big things about the DJI Mini 3 Pro is the option to purchase it with the RC screen controller. And this thing natively runs the DJI Fly app. And it's just a great convenience because it frees up your phone and you haven't got to go through such an arduous setup process every time you want to fly. But that isn't the only difference here with the controller. The DJI Mini 2, for example, used OcuSync 2.0 technology, and that did bring along with it a great range when flying. So this includes the OcuSync 3.0 technology, and this is the Wi-Fi technology that allows the drone and the controller to speak to one another. Now, despite that marketing term, OcuSync is still just standard Wi-Fi tech. It connects using the standard Wi-Fi channels and has the standard Wi-Fi frequencies. The big difference here, though, is how it works mid-flight. 
Most drones of this size, including the original Mini, will work by connecting to the best available Wi-Fi channel when the drone first takes off from the home point. However, if the drone then encounters interference, you are kind of out of luck because the drone will not be able to find a better channel. That is the exact problem that OcuSync aims to fix. So when you are mid-flight, if the signal starts to drop a little bit, the drone and the controller will communicate in order to actually change the channel that is currently being used. And this is all automatic, requiring no input from the pilot. The drone will just keep the best possible signal depending on the current level of interference. This means that you can expect many miles or kilometers of range. Of course, if you are in a more urban zone, then that OcuSync is still going to be a big assistance, but you are not going to get the same level of range. And to be honest with you, this drone is just such a joy to fly. It truly is. It's so simple. It's so easy. You have the safety features like return to home, the obstacle avoidance that I've mentioned, the find my drone feature if the worst happens and you do lose this. It is incredibly stable in flight. Just be careful because of the smaller size if you are caught out in heavier winds. But seriously, in comparison to some of the cheaper drones that are on the market, which I have flown and they do have their place, they don't even compare to this. Just incredibly smooth in flight and very, very reliable. So folks, there we have my thoughts on the DJI Mini 3 Pro for 2023. I think this is a fantastic drone, a couple of minor niggles, but honestly, I do think this is still the best in its class. Yes, there are drones out there that are going to do more than this can, such as the Mavic series, but then you are also going to be paying a lot more, which puts those pretty much out of reach for the majority of consumers. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do consider just dropping a like and subscribing to my channel to be notified of any future drone content I have going forward. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time. I'm off for my next flight now.